right, so in our little circles here on, on YouTube and on the internet, those of us who are, you know, more libertarian or conservative, pro-gun, that kind of thing, um, you know, we've joked about this hashtag Me Too movement for a while now, right? Like, uh, you know, we sit back and we admit some people, like a lot of the victims of Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, and, and some others out there, they, they genuinely were victims of sexual assault. They had things happen to them, people who've been raped. There are, there are people out there, there are real victims out there that are being harmed. But, you know, we've kind of made jokes about the whole hashtag me too, because now it just seems like everybody's just saying it. Oh, I had a bad date with somebody, hashtag me too. Oh, some guy tried to kiss me, hashtag me too. Oh, some guy asked me out on a date more than once, hashtag me too. I mean, it's getting absolutely ridiculous. Um, and, uh, you know, you guys know I'm, I'm a geek, you know, do the geek chats, I like TVs, I like TVs, I like TV, and TVs, sure, why not, uh, movies, you know, Walking Dead, that kind of stuff. Um, so when this latest allegation against Chris Hardwick, who obviously, if you're in geek culture, you know this, right? You know, he hosts the Walking Dead stuff, he does a lot of stuff at Comic-Con, he's real big into the geek culture, has been for a decade now. When these allegations against him from his ex-girlfriend from like four years ago, before he then went on and married somebody else. He's now married to, to uh, somebody from the Hearst family, so he married into money. But, um, you know, when, th when this stuff comes out, I pay a little bit more attention to this than I do the other people that I don't really know nor do I care about, in all honesty. <laughs> um, and, and so what happened was basically this ex-girlfriend of his uh, from four years ago when they broke up, basically wrote this like 10 minute long diatribe on, on all these things that he did. Didn't actually name him, but basically described exactly him, right? Uh, and, and said all this stuff and went on about all this, all the, the emotional abuse between us and it was a horrible relationship. And, and her main points of contention um, seemed to be one, that she was sexually assaulted, although then later on in the diatribe she says, well, she wasn't sexually assaulted. What happened was is he had once said that his last relationship ended because they weren't sexual and he was the type of person that thought sex was important in a relationship, so she would just have sex with him even when she wasn't in the mood to keep him because she didn't want to lose him. So that's not sexual assault. That's willingly having sex when you're not in the mood, which... That's like, I don't know, part of a relationship for, I'm sure, everybody at one point in time or another. And then you get in the mood pretty quick once things start get going. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not sexual assault. So that was that was her one issue. Another was he was very controlling. He was, he was very, very busy and he insisted on controlling every aspect of his life, including his relationship, the what, the when, the where, the how. He was just a controlling guy. Again, that's... That's not abuse, you signed on for it, you knew what type of person he was, and you decided to hook up with a guy that's controlling when it comes to all aspects of his life, okay? Um, three is that uh, at the beginning of the relationship, he told her, look, I'm an alcoholic, I've been sober for 10 years, and if you're gonna drink, this isn't gonna work. Uh, and then they moved in together, and she wasn't allowed to keep alcohol in the house or anything like that, and she wasn't allowed to drink because, you know, he was an alcoholic and didn't wanna be tempted, I'm sorry. If somebody tells you this up front, it's like, look, I'm an alcoholic, I'm sober, I can't be in a relationship with somebody that drinks, that's his right to do that. She agreed that she wanted to be with him enough that she would stop drinking and that she wouldn't keep alcohol in the house. That's just him knowing that he has a problem and he's trying to control it and he wants whoever he's in a relationship with to respect that and still be okay with being with him. That's, that's not abuse. I hate to tell you this, pumpkin, that's not abuse. Look. You may have had a shitty relationship. Y'all may have fought and yelled and screamed at each other. Y'all eventually broke up because you cheated on him. Both of y'all admit to this, and then you spent months trying to get back together with him, so it couldn't have been that fucking bad, right? Like, but that's, that's what this movement has created. And people can just bitch about a bad date or a bad relationship. Look, I've had bad relationships, right? This guy now is having his entire life, his, his career, his livelihood stripped away from him. He's losing all his jobs, all the things that, that, that he used to do. Now, hopefully... In the court of public opinion, you know, he'll be able to bounce back from this. They'll realize this is stupid, all right, that these aren't actually sexual assault allegations or actual abuse allegations, and he'll get his jobs back. He'll get his career back. I don't know. There are some people who've just been lost to this hashtag Me Too movement. They don't get anything back, right? Hopefully he will, but right now he's having everything he's worked decades for stripped away because you feel bad 
two years, four years after this relationship's over, two years after he's already married to another person, you see a bandwagon, you decide to jump on it because you still got something against him because he moved on with his life and became successful, and you're what? Nobody, really, in all honesty? I think you were like a cosplay girl or something, right? This is absolutely ridiculous. People are losing their livelihood because people want to bitch about a bad date or you asked them out on a date too many times or God forbid you were in a relationship with somebody that didn't work out well and y'all broke up. Well now you can you can just write up a tweet and somebody loses everything that they've worked for? This is bullshit. The hashtag Me Too movement is bullshit. Anybody who's half rational at all needs to realize this needs to come to a stop. Stop doing this. If you've legitimately had something bad happen to you, by all means, Scream it to the moon, right? Tell the cops. Make it public. Those people need to pay. But you having a bad date or some guy tried to kiss you because he thought maybe you'd go for it, right? Or ask you out one too many times, right? This is not this is not a reason to end somebody's career, all right? Being in a bad relationship, as I have, had been many, many times in my life, and I wouldn't wish the other person to not be able to get a damn job, okay? That's not a reason to end somebody's career. All right, so everybody needs to move on. The hashtag Me Too movement has officially gone too far, and we all need to jump on that bandwagon.